Have you ever dreamt of getting into Ethereum, Cardano or Solana before they pumped? Well, here are five layer one blockchains that could still explode in Q4. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, we'll look at the top five layer one blockchains that could still explode in Q4. Now, layer one blockchains are blockchains that are basically the base for other dApps to build on top of them. The most common ones or the most well-known ones are Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, things like that. Now, there are a couple of other ones that haven't had such, an such a price explosion yet and that have still a relatively small market cap. So we'll look at so we'll cover five of them today and as Q4 is usually the most explosive of the bull run, I could still see those gain some real momentum. Now before we get started, a quick word about our sponsor Bitpanda. Bitpanda is about the easiest way to get into crypto, even for total beginners. They have a super easy interface that allows you to buy all of the top cryptocurrencies, but also stocks or other assets. You can deposit a lot of different currencies and then swap it in just a few clicks. Plus, if you struggle with DCA, they've even got a built-in function for just that. Their savings plan allows you to regularly invest money without you having to think about it. So you just predetermine how much you want to invest on a weekly or monthly basis and it will automatically do that for you. Try them out now by going into the description and clicking on the first link. All right, the first one on my list is Avalanche. So this is their website and they've actually got an interesting comparison if we scroll all the way down here. So you can see they compare themselves with a couple of the other blockchains and you'll get some very interesting data out of that. The first one is transaction throughput, that's actually transactions per second. And you can see, so the common comparison is with Bitcoin and Ethereum because they're pretty low. So for Bitcoin, it's uh, an average of seven, for Ethereum an average of 14. And Avalanche manages more than 4.5K transactions per second. So definitely much higher. Also transaction finality, so that means the, the amount of time it takes until a transaction is final on the blockchain, that's less than two seconds, which is much faster than the other options here. Another, another important factor are the number of validators that shows how decentralized the network is. And you can see there's, there are literally thousands of nodes that makes it very decentralized, which is very nice to see as well. Then the consensus mechanism or civil protection is proof of stake here. So that's always very nice to see because that makes it very energy efficient, makes it a green coin, and you can also profit from staking it as well. Now, one of the reasons that I think Avalanche has still some very good growth potential is Avalanche Rush. So that's their incentive program where they actually pump in 10 million AVAX. So that's Avalanche's native token. And they pump that into their ecosystem to help it grow and expand. So at the price's all-time high, that was over $70, that was actually, actually worth $700 million. Now, if we look at it, it's a 57, but it's still 10 million AVAX that is pumped into the ecosystem. It has started recently. And once this is fully up and running, I could see a pretty explosive effect for that. Because for all of the transactions, whenever you're using a dApp on the Avalanche ecosystem, you always need AVAX or VAVAX, wrapped AVAX as a base token. So that increases demand, which usually results in a price increase. Okay, let's do a quick price prediction here. So let's look at the current market cap. So that's currently sitting at 12 billion. So we can compare that to the top layer one solutions. That's currently Ethereum and Cardano. So Ethereum is sitting at 440 billion and Cardano is sitting at 72 billion. Now, I don't really think that one of those layer one solutions will overtake Ethereum in this bull run, but it could definitely reach Cardano's size that at the moment, especially because the whole market will most likely still grow drastically in Q4. So let's assume it goes up to 72 billion. So we divide 72 by 12. So that would still be a 6x. So from now, now the coin is worth $57 and we multiply that by 6. So that will bring the AVAX token to $342. Now, what I also like very much about Avalanche is that they have a super easy bridge where you can, for instance, swap from Ethereum to Avalanche. So for instance, you can swap your Ethereum token to Avalanche if they exist on both, on both coins. For instance, you could use Aave that has recently launched on Avalanche as well. And then you can simply swap that from Ethereum to Avalanche. And I've used it before. It's really, really fast and really, really cheap. So that's really nice. If you'd like to see a full tutorial about that, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll be happy to do that separately. 
Now, if you don't hold any AVAX yet, you can actually buy them on Bitpanda. So the way to do that is first you have to deposit your currency. So you deposit that here. And then after that, you can click on trade and then either buy. So if you have a fiat currency such as euros or US dollar, then you can buy that in here or you could also swap. So I currently don't have any fiat currencies, but I have another currency so I can click on swap. And then I can actually swap that and choose Avalanche here. And then I choose how much I want to swap. So for instance, just an ex as an example, and then you can cl click on swap now and that's it. Really, really simple and straightforward. Number two on my list is Phantom. So you can see on their website, they say Phantom is a fast, high throughput, open source smart contract platform for digital assets and dApps. What's so what's particularly nice about Phantom is that they're EVM compatible. And that means that Ethereum projects can easily swap over to Phantom and run on Phantom as well. So they describe that here where they say Phantom supports the EVM and you can deploy your dApps just like on Ethereum. So that's definitely a big plus. Now they also run on proof of stake, which also makes them a green coin, which is very nice. Plus what's also very cool is if you decide to stake your Phantom, then you get a pretty good APY. You can see if you lock it up for a year, you get 12.9% APY. That's pretty, pretty nice as well. Now it has recently gotten a bit of a push because of Geist Finance. So that has actually launched and you get some pretty good APYs on there as well. And that has actually resulted in a bit of a push of, for Phantom because you can stake it in here as well. And that probably resulted in people buying Phantom so that they can profit from that. I'll be making a separate tutorial about that. So don't forget to subscribe to be notified when that comes out. Now, as mentioned earlier, it is EVM compatible. That means that dApps can come over to Phantom, can come over from Ethereum to Phantom and can actually run on both of them. So. And you can see that it has actually happened with Yearn Finance. So you can read in this article, it says DeFi blue chip Yearn Finance has been double digit pumping today after announcing its multi-chain expansion to incorporate the Phantom blockchain's growing DeFi ecosystem. The article is from October 9th, so very, very recently. All right, now again, let's do some price predictions. Now, Phantom has a bit of a smaller market cap at about $5 billion right now. So if we again compare that to Cardano's market cap at 72 billion, let's calculate that. So that would be 72 divided by five. So that would be a, about a 14X from here on out, from here on out. So let's see where that would get us if we, do, if we multiply that by its current price at 214. So that would bring the price of Phantom up to almost $30. Now again, if we see more dApps coming over to Phantom in the coming weeks and months, I could totally see that happening or that Phantom will get quite a big push even in Q4. Number three on my list is Cosmos. Now what's particularly interesting about Cosmos is that they're big on interoperability. So let's quickly read what they say here. They say in what is Cosmos, they say, strictly speaking, Cosmos is a decentralized network of independent parallel blockchains, each powered by BFT consensus algorithms like Tendermint consensus. So it gets very technical very quickly, but they actually explained in simpler terms down here. So they say, in other words, Cosmos is an ecosystem of blockchains that can scale and interoperate with each other. So what they actually want to achieve is complete interoperability between blockchains where they can flawlessly interact with each other. Now, interoperability is definitely the future, in my opinion, since the end user doesn't really care if it's running on one blockchain or the other. The end user just wants a simple, cheap and fast interface that they can use. And interoperability is really key for that. So I found this really interesting article that highlights all the benefits, all the pros and cons about it. And one part that I find very interesting is here where it says about how, how many apps are already, already running on it. So it says there are over 250 apps and services already running on the Cosmos network with over 112 billion digital assets under management. Well-known projects built using Cosmos include Binance Chain, Terra and Crypto.com. Now, as you can see, this is a growing ecosystem. However, the market cap is not that big yet, actually. If we look at it, it's currently sitting at about 8 billion. Now, if, again, if we divide those 72 billion that Cardano has, divide it by eight, that could still make an, a nine X from here. So if we multiply that by 35.49, where it's sitting right now, that could bring the Cosmos coin up to, th uh, up to $319. Now we can also get started by buying Cosmos on Bitpanda, just like I've shown you with Avalanche. Number four on my list is Zilliqa. 
So Zilliqa at a glance is what they say here. We're committed to delivering a scalable and secure platform for developers and enterprises who wish to build decentralized applications. Now, two interesting aspects that they mention here is that they try to become more eco-friendly. They say here, thanks to Zilliqa's consensus mechanism, the ecological footprint of mining has considerably been reduced. Only one minute out of every two to three hours is needed to mine Zill, allowing one to dual mine other chains at the same time. And then the other interesting part is their blossoming ecosystem. So they say here, over 60 project teams from over 20 countries have contrib contributed to Zilliqa's ecosystem. So you can see they've also got an up and running ecosystem that is just getting started and is just getting ready to heat up. Now, Zilliqa is another coin that you can also buy on Bitpanda like I've just shown you earlier. And now let's quickly look at a price prediction to see where the, this could still go. You can see that has a relatively mark a relatively small market cap compared to what we've just looked at now and we can just calculate that very easily so if that went up to the market cap that Cardano has right now 72 billion that would be a 72x from here so it's sitting at nine cents right now let's quickly calculate the upside potential so 0 0.09 times 72. So that would bring Zilliqa up to $6.48. So yeah, if they manage to grow their ecosystem and maybe if they and if they maybe also deploy a fund that they could put into their ecosystem, this definitely still has some very good upside potential. Now the last one on my list is Velas Chain. So I'll actually be coming out with a dedicated video about Velas Chain, so I'll only touch on that quickly. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified when that comes out so you can watch all of that for yourself. But what's particularly interesting about that one is that it is a Solana fork and that it is also EVM compatible. So that means that also projects that are running on Ethereum can easily come over to Velas and run there very smoothly. It's also one of the fastest and most scalable options. And what's even more interesting is that they've just launched a 5 million fund that they will fund into their ecosystem. So they want to grow their ecosystem. They don't have it yet. So they only have a swap, that's Wagyu swap. And they have a, a pad, a launch pad that is Velos pad. And they now want to bring much more projects into their ecosystem. And part of them will probably launch on Velos pad as well. So as you can see, this is a layer one solution that is still very early in the process and could therefore have some very, very good upside potential if they manage to pull all of that off. So again, let's look at their market cap. You can see that's extremely low right now. So let's actually divide the 72 billion again. So I'll have to write it out this time. So that would be at 224x, which is pretty crazy. So let's multiply that by its current price, which is 0.15. So that would bring it up to $33, which is really, would be a pretty insane growth. I'm not sure if it manages to pull that off in Q4, but it is definitely an option if they really manage to explode their ecosystem and to put all of this and maybe put even more funds in there, which we'll have to see about. But yeah, this is one of the more unlikely price predictions of those five. I think the other ones have a higher potential of actually getting over this 70 billion market cap for this one. Maybe it will take a bit longer, but we'll have to see what happens. All right, so these are my top five layer one picks that I could still see explode in Q4. Let me know if I've missed any layer one picks that haven't exploded yet. Let me know your favorites. Leave a comment down below to let me know about that. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.